and good afternoon. Welcome to the January 16th edition of Tuesday with Todd. And today we're season six, episode three, and we are making hair bows. Now, I have made some bows in the past. Now, am I a, a bow panure? Absolutely not. Uh, we, we've somewhat figured out how to make ornament bows. I will, I'll give into that one. I can rock out an ornament bow now. Tree topper bow? I'm getting better at it. And now a hair bow? Ooh, that's what we're tuning in tonight to find out. We're going to make some hair bows together. We're going to have Cindy in here, and she's going to show us how to make those. But before we get that, we'll check in with everybody, see how everybody's doing. Uh, it is cold here. Uh, I'm just checking it, and I think we're above zero, which is kind of awesome. Uh, but because it was it was really cold. Yep, we're three. Three, but it feels like negative 15. So good times are here. We'll check in with people, we'll talk about what's going on this week, next week, and then we will get right into it. Uh, remember, the, the, the likes, the comments, the shares, they're all free cost you nothing to do that but it does help keep the lights and mics on so please take care of us and do that for it uh let's check in and see how people are doing darren hello to you pilar looking forward to this training hey i i'm making a bow i'm scared 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 uh renee hello darren wind chill is negative 12 on the wage negative 26 water in the bottle hot tea in the mug very nice i got uh i just got some celsius this afternoon barb hello to you north central minnesota two real field 12 pepsi in the cup up, hey, Pilar from Renee. A hey, Renee and Pilar from Barb. Barb giving it back. Darren, Pilar, T Town, Jose, they're all getting in there. What's up, Chuck? Afternoon, evening, everyone. 63, chilly 63. A chilly 63 is a hot 63 here. I will say that for sure. Hello, Andrea from Atlanta. Face, are there so many ways to make these? Excited to learn your tricks. Hey, I've never made one. There, I have zero experience making a hair bow, so we're going to learn together. And this is going to be the great part of it. Linda, hello to you. Jose, how's it going? George, stay in Mexico, man. It's still cold. Facebook user, thank you for joining us. Baby V's checking in uh, and freezing in Chicago. Not ready to get in the car to drive home from work. I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. Uh, you got this, homie. All we can do is screw it up, right? It's just a bow. Fine. Only hit 30 now. Ooh, wind chill 21. It's gonna be almost 70 tomorrow. I think we're in this for a while. Tanya, thanks for checking in. 33 there. All right. This week we have morning mindset, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we have that tomorrow morning, as we do every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 30 a.m. Central Tandem time. What's the main purpose of that show? Set your goal up for success. Your day up for success by setting some goals. There's a lot of words in there. Uh, we need your five things, five things that you are gonna accomplish throughout the day. I love it because it gets me it gets me pumped for the day and the, the conversations that we have. Wednesdays seem to be the longer of the shows, so I'm excited about that. So check in tomorrow morning. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications when we go live. You will be notified and you are able to join us. We're also live over on Instagram now. So we've been playing with that, and that's what kind of took a little bit uh, here today because the stream key wasn't taking it, but we were good there. Thursday, we'll be dropping a Valentine's Day DTF bundle, so pay attention and look for that. And then next Tuesday, we've got Sarah coming on, and we're going to show how to do some mock-ups in Canva, and then I'm going to hop in and do uh, removing some strings, how I do that in Corel, so that way you're able to see that. I'm uh, pretty, pretty excited about that one. Uh, and then upcoming one, training. Uh, we're going to have somebody in talking um, AI and mid-journey. Uh, I'm also going to do some AI in Canva because I'm learning more about that. Uh, I've been on an AI kick today, probably about four or five hours of AI training today. So really excited about all of that. Uh, Rena, hello, hello to you. And Rena, you're getting ready for, for, for impressions, right? That's Thursday. I'm already... Dealing with toll, I'm already regretting my choice of not heading out there. Really, really am. Uh, but I'll be in Mexico in, you know, in like six weeks or seven weeks. I don't know. Mexico soon enough. Huh? Good evening to you. Oh, that's doing a little weird. Sure, what's going on with that where it's not letting me hit stuff. There it goes. Now it's coming back. And hello from Orlando uh, in Impressed LLC. Thank you for joining us as well. Uh it might be our internet because I'm noticing I'm noticing I'm lagging up in that corner, and that's how I can see where it is about it. Everything else is is looking somewhat fine on one, but I could be stuttering too. All right, let's get Cindy in here. And Cindy, let's see if this will work and bring it in here. And Cindy, there you are. Let us bring here these things. And nope, nope. 
this screen. There, there you are. Now we're on here. Woo. Cindy, hey, yeah. how are you today? I'm cold. Are you, are you, are you excited? <laughs> You're cold? Ah, I know. I'm excited because I, I just want to see if we can get I this whole new I don't think I'm, I think we'll be fine with that. I have I have faith in you as a teacher, and faith is my hands to be able to needle and thread. Now, whether I'm stabbing right. myself, I can definitely see that happening, and and you know, all kinds of things. Um, but I, yeah, I, I'm over this this cold too. What did we get? We got 25 inches of snow last week, and now we're in the deep frozen tundra. So we're kind of a uh, we're stuck in it. And what better yes. thing to do when we're like this than to make some bows, right? I mean, that's right. That's what I heard. I heard all the kid cool kids do it when they're snowed in, is they make bows. Is that correct? That's what my daughter would Perfect. say. That yeah, she said, "Mommy, we live on Hawk so now." Going I'm like, well, let's through make my bowers, list. Bow. That's what my daughter would say. That make bows. Yeah, she said Yes, why not? Uh, I think I believe in all the descriptions. I do have all the materials needed, uh, and I'm going to see if by chance I can post them all in here. Uh, we'll, we'll see if it'll let me post it all in here because it might be a lot to go. If not, we will. I'll break it down into two things, but we should be should be good. Oh yeah, it's just not going to show at all. So it will be in the comments. It will be in the descriptions of everything that you need here. There is nothing super fancy in this list by any means. So it's pretty. It's always a plus there. Um, Cindy, before we get started in bows, tell us a little about yourself and how you got to here making us bows. Oh my goodness! So I in college was a theater major, which involved costume, it was theater and music, um, and I needed accessories, which led to a jewelry design business which led to a lot of blinging, which led me to bows. It kind of was a natural progression. I have a Rainer Rue family on Etsy, if you check us out. Lots of bows on there, embroidered bows, along with these types of bows. Anything to match a costume or anything for my daughter who is now in dance. Awesome. Yep, and then so, I spent quite a while as a craft instructor. What um, what kind of bows are we making today? Hair bows. Now, are there multiple types okay. of hair bows? Or oh my I, gosh, there know. are so many kinds. Okay, so... I'm going to show you what was okay. our goal for today. Okay. Yes. Right here. Right here. That is the goal. The end game. It's a boutique confident. bow is what we would call it. It's a four inch okay. boutique bow. So here okay. and then the back, we can kind of see lined and pretty. Okay. So that is a boutique confident. bow. Yes. I feel you confident got this. Okay. So other types of things you might hear about in the bow, bow world. There are things called over the top bows or OTT. That's something like this. You can kind of see. These are my yeah, earlier you'd said something about feathers. Yeah, you had said something about feathers, and it wasn't on your list. I'm like, okay, I'm not doing anything with feathers, so no. I, I'm confident in that. <laughs> I didn't want to set the feathers on fire. I thought we can wait. We can wait on that. Great. There's that Valentine's Day is coming up, so this is one that has good examples of what I mean by spikes. These little things on the outside. Oh yeah. yeah. So you can kind of decorate it, and then you can kind of see there's a I bow like center there too. And then yeah. let's see. I'm really into fascinator bows. So my daughter, when she needed something, it was like a uh, show. She was like, I want this, this, and this. Can you make it all happen? I was like, sure. I'm so on some sort of reality craft show. And so we came up with this. Ooh. Yeah. That I have a never fancy been, piece right there. Yeah. I've never been so grateful to have a katana because these little rhinestones in the middle is the only way I got them to sit there. <laughs> That's what it was it was like, it looks like a lot of detail in that one. Yes. Yes. Anything for the Christmas program. <laughs> and then you can also take what we're going to do today. And if you do double the bow and just put them right on top of each other, you can do this kind of thing. Oh, Where they're just stacked on top right. of each other. It looks fancier than it really is, but it, it's a great look. And then that's just a rhinestone button in the middle. Look at that. Fancy, that fancy. One. Yes. And then... What I like to do, one of my favorites is like an origami style bow. It's where there's more folding involved than actual tying and things of that sort. And that's this little guy. Ooh. That middle is actually just the back side of the bow flipped around. So once you learn to do the basics, that, you can it change like a lot it up. Me. Yeah. And it's this one is actually it's much like everything. Once, so once you, it's like making that paper airplane. Once you make that first one, you understand the concept for it, and then you're off and yes. running. Yes. All and right. then, oh, wait, one more. And then things that where you can do, and you can actually have scraps of ribbon. This is actually only about three inches of ribbon across tucked inside that bow. So you can save yourself a little See, money. I, uh, 
I'm already thinking that this is going to lead to me making a lot of things that I don't think I need to be making, but anything for the girls, right? Anything for the girls. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and a boutique bow. It's nice and simple. It's a good way to get started into the bow making world. And you just right, never well, know. You know, well, we've got, you know, checking in here. What's going to come up? Yeah, I know. Checking in here. It looks like, you know, some of the, uh, Maybe we'll have to do this next time if we if we graduate. Let's see an origami bow made. I, I we'll see we'll see how that all plays out. We'll see how an origami. Let's get through today before we start putting any more pressure <laughs> on me for any other kinds of bows. <laughs> sure. All right. So where do we start? What do we got to do? All right. Well, actually, probably the first thing is we are going to start with the inch and a half ribbon. So for today, I'm going to do the hot pink, or okay. I call it the rock and pink here, the rockability pink. Okay, I'm going to see. Okay, let's, I'm see. let's see how I can do this. Yeah, so we're going to start with that. This so, one. Ooh, fancy. I know, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. I love if it. I can do that. Then, yeah, look, there. Now we're on top here and we're there. Okay, so awesome. inch and a half. So, everything that we got here, uh, let me run through the stuff with people and see. Um, as far as bow supplies, here's what we got here. So, we've got a five eighths right there five eighths we've got a seven eighths we've got a three eighths and then we've got an inch and a half then we also have these uh what are these these jewelry what the hell are those it must be hair clips hair clips yeah that's what those are is hair flat clips hair alligators and then alligator clips okay we got thread uh i do have oh where did it go i do have a needle i got a needle there's a needle right there. It's important. And let's see, what am I missing here? We need something to measure with. So we've got a tape measure. Uh, I put the torch away because I did find a lighter. So we got a lighter. Oh, nice. And then the glue gun. So there's the glue gun right there. So I think overall, I think I got everything, right? Oh, scissors. I need scissors too. Left-handed scissors. Can't go wrong with left-handed scissors. So I think we, I think we got everything. All right. So what are we starting with? Okay, so the inch and a half ribbon, we are going to do a little bit of math to help everybody out because everybody okay. does it differently. But long ago, I was taught this way to do it. Okay, there are okay. tons of ways to do it. This is just one. So we're going to first off, we are making a four inch bow, four inches across. Okay. So to do okay. that, we're going to do math. We're going to take the bow size, which is four inches. We're going to add okay. 1.5 to that. Okay. Okay. So we're at five so and a half. Five and a half times four. Oh, okay. So five and a half times four is going to be 22, right? Yes. 22. So we need 22 inches of the inch and a half ribbon. So 22, 22 inches, an inch and a half ribbon. So I'm just going to go 11 times two and then we'll be good. So there is. And there's two. All right. So All right. Once you got that, you want to heat seal the ends. So you're going to take your lighter and just push it lightly across. If it starts to set on fire a little, that means you're, you've held it too long. <laughs> okay. So we're going to, because I didn't do this last time when I made the other bows. So just, uh, just like that, right? Just, we're just doing yep. that. Making sure and when you run your fingers across edges. it, okay. you shouldn't see any threads. There. No, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I think we're good. Yep. I think we're good. good. Okay. Sometimes it's like I have a polka dot ribbon right now. You got to be kind of careful because those polka dots will set on fire. So don't hold it too long. Really? Yes. Uh, You'll see causes, them. To what, well, what causes them to? Why just the polka dots? Why does it cause them to? Catch I on think fire? it has to do with the way they actually the process and when they get them on there. Sometimes it's okay. a paint. Sometimes it's kind of almost like a sublimation. And then okay. that one's okay. not bad. So gotcha. we got this far. Okay. Yep. So. The big thing when we're making any type of bow is that we need creases. Creases to help us figure okay. out where the work is going to go. So you're going to take okay. this entire length of ribbon, put the yep. two ends together. Yep. And then you're going to basically fold it in half. The uh -huh. end where the crease is, mm -hmm. you're going to get your handy dandy lighter out again. And you're going to help kind of heat set that crease. So you'll okay. take the crease and just lightly run the lighter a few times and then press it down okay heat press yes and then just kind of give it a good little finger press you can do it without the heat i just i just find that the heat helps it sit better because if you take right. too long your crease can disappear yep just like that and just fold it down there we Great. go okay you're doing okay now we're going to take the ends each one of these ends you're going to take 
And you're going to take the long way here, this way, fold it in half, uh -huh. and do at the, very top, at the very top. You're going to do that, and you're going to do the same thing on that side. So we take both of them together, do a crease. Yeah, just the yeah. Okay, but how far are we going down on this bad boy? Um, fingertip length. Fingertip. Okay. Oop, that lighter's bad. All right, let's get a new one. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. Heat that bad boy up. Give it some heat yep. in it. And you're just doing the very tip because you want to be able to see where the middle of that ribbon is. Okay. There it is. Some heat. Some press. Okay. Got it. All right. Let me catch up here. Oh, yeah. Catch you up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, we've made it this far. This is <laughs> actually a big deal that we've gotten this far. So now, if you have a ribbon that is printed... You want the pretty side down. Okay, okay. pretty so side down. Side. I don't. Is yours printed or is it plain? Nope, I'm solid. I'm solid all the way through. Okay, solid. nope, you're good. So now we're gonna look at it laying in front of you. You're okay. going to. We're gonna start doing loops. So you're gonna take the line that's the crease here. We're uh -huh. gonna take this, roll it around, so you get part of an awareness ribbon, but you're gonna be missing part of the loop of it. Okay, where's so the, the about crease, how much the we crease that you made here yep. is going to go down the center line you originally made. So, so it'll looking. look like that. Okay, so on my end, I does it matter if I go with the loop at the bottom or the top? It does not matter. Okay. So long as you're so, not you're not twisting it. So Let we're going when we look at this, there's oh, our crease flip, flip in the that middle. Over. Yeah, you want to make sure that when you grab it, you're grabbing it and you're just sideways going around. So like that. Let me see. Flip it There's over. It. Yeah, flip that crease, the, the little crease. No, 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 the, not the whole thing. The way you had it, take, there you go. Okay. So point, so crease to crease. The Cre valley crease into crease. the other valley. Do I want the valley in the valley? Because otherwise the point in the point. Do I have to peak the peak or the valley? I mean, valley? it was a valley in a valley. But here, let me okay, get it. Okay, so... It's wait. this. Okay, so I'm going... Okay, 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 okay. And if okay, I went okay, further, okay. Sure. you'd see that, so like but that. we want it... Yeah. So the crease yep. that you so like made, that. Yep. the two creases are lining up. Yep. Yeah, yep. there you go. Yep, 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 yep. Right, let me see. Got it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold it. Hold on a second. Set it down on the table real quick. So I can see it. So, it's, it. There we go. Take the tab at the bottom and flip it. That piece. Yeah. There you go. Now you're good. Okay. Yeah. And match that okay. up with the line down the middle. Oh, okay. Okay. Nicey. 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 Got it. Yeah. And okay. then the bottom of it should land at the bottom too. Yep. So just like that. Yeah, you'll right. line it up. So all you're going to do now, this is controversial. Some people would say use a glue stick. Some people would say use this and that. We're going to just take the glue gun okay. and ever so lightly just put a tiny like even just clean off the tip of your glue gun to hold each one of those sides down each so one of those sides down you're going to hold the tab so we're gluing the tab down okay okay See? okay okay and then you'll end up with that so i can just uh oh shit yeah. okay yeah. that's a lot like don't even really push on the glue gun if you just wipe the tip off there should be plenty there to hold it yeah, well, you know me, I made a mess. So, yeah, it's so all back right. to back to uh, back to making a mess. Okay, so okay. now I've got that and that, and then now Great. it's stuck there. Okay, right? so now Perfect. we need like to that. we need to complete the figure eight altogether. So we're gonna go with the other end and do the same thing, except this time it's gonna go over the top of what you just did. Just from the opposite. So you'll side. see. Yes. So this will go in through here. So it should look. So then, should it look like as a? So should it look like that? Maybe. Yeah, you got it. Okay, and I glue that side down. So then we end up, we end up with the structure. Okay, so then I glue that side down. There too. you go. Yeah. All right, Todd, we're getting there. We're almost there. Okay, so now from here. Okay. Put some glue on that. It's going to get a little interesting. I'm going to get closer because this, is, this okay. will be easier. So we're going to take 
this little thing. And now there's like a diamond in the middle. Yeah. Can you see the diamond that's nope. right there? Okay. My glue. Yeah, my glue didn't. My glue didn't hold. My glue oh, didn't don't hold. Don't worry, nobody will see it. <laughs> You're going to start sliding things around. Okay. So these two loops that are here, these two mm -hmm. loops, we need the edge of the loops to meet the edge of the diamond. So when you go inside, this edge is going to line up right next to this one. Okay. We're not going to glue this down yet. I just want you to kind of see how it goes together. Okay. Same so, thing with this side. So you bring it in and then it, it should look like, let me, I think there's like a there bunch of glue hanging out. Yeah. So looking at this from here, where is that glue at? I see it hanging. Yeah. So if you were to squash it down. So like this, right? Yep. So, so that, goes. yep. That's so what we're the, looking for. There you go. And that's going to line up with one edge. And then the other one is going to line up. The other side needs to keep sliding towards you. Oh, so they're going to overlap? Yes. So like there you that. Go. Okay. So that, that's the end game right now. But before we go that far, I just wanted to see what we're headed to. You're okay. going to take this whole thing and we're going to heat set our creases. So we're going to okay. take this whole structure and fold it in half so it looks like a V. Fold them in half so it looks yes. like Yes. And a you're going to take this part, heat set, and do a crease down here. Same with each end. Okay. So we'll heat. So we're going to crease. Heat set and crease yes. all sides. Okay. I think I can do that. I'm think folding I can. in half. I think I can pull that off there. Maybe. Just finger press it a little. Not too much. You don't want to melt it. Yeah. That's my, that's, that's my goal. My goal is to not burn myself or stab myself. And then each end, right? Each end, we're going to do that yeah. same thing too. So we're going to. Bring that in here. We're gonna do that. Gonna so you've that. got your little your little V, and it's got creases in both of those, along with a crease down the middle there. That's All gonna right. help us line everything up. So it should look like that when we're done, right? Yes. So then you can go ahead and open it up again, so it looks like a little a little cradle. Kind of looks like this. Yep. Got it. Yes. So now, I forget. You're left-handed, right? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Take the one on the left. In your case, let's do it from the left. You're going to okay. take the left side, slide it across uh -huh. until the leftmost side is at the edge of the diamond. And what okay. here's what I mean by that. So it looks like that. So it looks like... Yes. There you go. Yep. And make sure that you're still lined up with that crease that's there. Sometimes they get a little wonky. We don't want that. Yep. Looks like I'm good. All right. And then, I'm, me... then I'm going to glue. Yes. Just a, yeah, just a little tiny bit. Enough to just keep it in place. Or you could pin it, but I have a habit of stabbing myself with pins. So that's why you don't see me pin much. <laughs> well, I haven't made it to, I don't want to stab myself. So I'm going <laughs> to glue. I'm going to try not to stab myself. Yeah. I'm going to try not to burn not myself. A lot of glue. I'm gonna try. And then we'll do the same thing with the other side. So then, got it. It'll look like that. And so that'll overlap right. then one one side will overlap on the other side. Yes. So then you end up with this. Let's see if I can hold it from the back. That. Okay. All right. Okay, Mr. Glue Gun. It's working. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. It's 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 doing something. That's for sure. You're getting it. Okay. Yeah, that's the trickiest point. The trickiest point on them is this right here. That makes sure those two things line up. Same with this side. And they'll they'll cross in here. We want this to cross in here. That's what's going to help us get the bow fluffy. Okay. So like that. Is that what I should be looking yeah. like? Yeah. You got okay. it. Okay. So now the side that you were looking at, this side where they overlapped, uh -huh. you're looking at it. You're going to take this whole thing. Flip it over. Okay, flip it over. So then it'll look like this. It'll look like an X. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, Todd. Set it down. Just set it down. Set it and okay. forget it right now. Okay. All right. So the next part, this is probably the part that freaks people out. Like this part, not so bad. Like we're folding, mm -hmm. we're matching lines up. We're going to sew. We're going to oh. hand sew. <laughs> okay. Got this, Todd. I got visuals for this. Okay. 
Okay. First of all, let's talk about sewing. Uh-huh. <laughs> so every good thing of sewing starts with a good knot. I highly recommend what's called a tailor's knot. Okay? You're going to learn a new skill, Todd. A tailor's yes, knot. Okay, and I think for now, let me start. I got, we're going to start with this one so you can kind of see what's going on. So this is a yarn needle. This is not what you're going to use, but okay. we're doing the, the enhanced version. Or you know what? Right. I was going to say, that's great. That's great. Let me go bigger. Let me go bigger. I got something we can oh do this a little bit bigger. No okay. Way. So we've got, let's say this is the needle and it's already threaded. Just pretend like it's been threaded. Okay. Okay. It's so I can thread a needle. So I should be threading the needle okay. anyway. So your needle, your thread. You're going mm -hmm. to take these two things and make an an X. This is going to be so hard to show on here. An X. Okay. That's the needle. And then you're just going to, you're just going to hold the thread and the needle together. Just hold them together. That's it. Okay. okay? So, so I've got the thread and the needle. Yes. Let's, Cut off a length. Of oh, you haven't cut it yet. Have you? Nope, because I don't know. You didn't give me any measurements, so. You're right. You're right. You don't need a measurement with this. A general rule, if you're doing any type of threading of anything, and we're just doing hand sewing, is to take this, take the tip, hold it in your two fingers, go to your elbow, and cut that length. That will be comfortable for you when you're pulling. Okay, that looks good. So you'll just drop it, drop it down there, and just cut whatever, however long that is. Cool. That I, can, that I can do. Now I can get the thread out of here. Okay. All right. Scissors back here. Okay. Now so, back to your back to your crazy X. Okay. Yes. So. Your dominant hand is holding the needle between your two okay. fingers, and uh -huh. you've got the other end. You uh -huh. want to put the thread behind the needle uh -huh. and hold it there. Just hold it there with your your index finger. Uh, okay. Okay. This is where it, you got this, Todd. You got this. You got it. So now. You're going to see the yarn or the thread is behind the needle. We're going to take your other hand, wrap it around the needle three times. And that's the, that's the big long piece, right? That I'm putting yes. behind there. Yes. Wrap okay. it behind. So, so wrap it behind okay. my finger too. Yeah. You're going to make a coil, a three, three string coil there. Yes. One, okay. Two, two, three. Now you're going to take the hand that did the coiling Grab the three coils, but don't do the grip of death. Just lightly grab okay. them. And okay. you're going to slide the needle through the coils and pull the whole string through. Now I got to switch the other one. Well, <laughs> shit, that didn't do anything. So needle. <laughs> right, so out of needle. Behind the needle. One, two, three. Grab uh -huh. these three coils. And then just pull the needle through. And there it is. Okay. One, two, three. Grab the coils. Two, grab the coils. And pull the needle through. Push, pull. Yep. And hold onto the coils. Not too tight, though, until you make your knot. Yeah. Well, what the hell? No knot came. No knot came of this. No knot came. Okay. There, we'll get to three again. Okay. okay. Needle. Okay. Needle. Yep. Got my needle. Thread right? behind needle. Got... Thread behind needle. And Thread. you're holding it all in one hand. Okay. So I got this. Now I'm going to go one, one two, two, three. Three. Okay. Now you should be able to see your coils. Grab yep. them. Hold uh -huh. on to them. And pull uh -huh. up and get the needle out of there. Well, I think my coil, my coil disappears. It like it goes straight or something. What the hell? <laughs> what is Which going end? On? Okay, are you coiling the wrong end? Let me see. I don't know. Do I, co do I coil okay, this good. end? Okay. So I'm gonna do it left. So if we, if you're left-handed, do you start with it in your left or your right? It's in my left hand. It's in your left hand. So if uh -huh. I've got it in my left hand, I'm gonna uh -huh. take it and pass it behind the needle and hold it. And then I'm going to start coiling towards myself three times. One, two, okay. three. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. Now push the coils down towards your finger just a little uh, bit. Uh -huh. Now grab them. Grab the needle and the coils. Uh -huh. Now with your other hand, just grab the needle. 
Uh huh. And pull up. Well, it's like it disappears, like magic. Hold on, let me see. Two, three. What the? <laughs> What's what you doing? I'm convinced. I'm convinced. You want to okay. try it right handed? So here. I'm convinced too. Okay. I don't know. So you can see, all right. So I got this through the needle, through the through the needle, right? Yes. Yeah. So where's uh, my little here, edge here? Right. And now, yes. I'm bringing it to the edge. I'm going to take I'm the other one. And I'm going two. And I'm going three. Three. And then I'm yes. holding that. So there's that loop Grab here. Them. And then. Up. Oh, and you got a knot. I don't have a knot. It just keeps going away. Every single time. That's every. We got this. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. So there's okay. needle. You can see that, right? You can needle. see I got yes. here. And I'm holding. And I bring it up here. And I'm going one. And I'm going two. And I'm going three. Right? Yes. And then I'm holding those. So now there's the loop there at the bottom. Yes. There's this through. Now I should pull from here. Yes. And then you're saying it should tighten, but yeah, don't nothing. yeah, don't let go of it because it's got to make it all the way to the bottom. It did. It pulled it all the way out. What in the hell? What in the hell? What is going on here? I'm gonna get this. One. Okay. I understand the concept of what we're doing here. It's like tying the damn right, fishing line. But for some reason, do I got too much thread on the end? What no, is going on? You should be okay there. Okay. So needle, big needle. Uh-huh. End of needle. Uh-huh. Okay. And I pass it behind. So now uh -huh. I'm holding it. And I could see an uh -huh. X. Needle on top, thread behind. There's an X. Needle, needle on top, thread behind. That's what we got right here. There's an yeah. X. Okay. So now when you're winding it, you should be passing the passing over and over and over. Until you have three, right. three little coils, so it'll look like this. Yep. So there's a little U. This. Yep. So that's what we got right here. We okay. Got... Now you're gonna hold on to the three coils and push the needle up, up. Okay. And pull everything through. Well, and I did that, and it's like the coils are now. I can feel them straightening out in my hand, and then it just twists. What am I? What, there, what is we're going gonna get this? Here? We're gonna get this. We're gonna get it. Like, I, 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 I we're I, gonna I, make I, it happen. Okay, we've got it here. There's that. Yes, I'm holding. Yes, I'm coming up here. I'm going behind. I'm going Two, behind. I'm going behind. Three. I'm pulling and I'm holding. And we've got it held here. And there's a loop. And then I pull through. And it disappears. I'm like David Copperfield here. You really are. I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> yeah. Are, yeah, you going yeah. To the, are you going to the very end? Like this, this end. Like, Am I going? Do I use it? Okay. So when we're looking at here, should I be doing, should I be using the short end to wrap around or the long end? The long end. Okay, I was using the long end. I was thinking maybe it was because I was using the long end. Yeah, so short ends here. Yes, long ends here. show me what the hell I'm doing wrong, Corey. Okay, so here's the X. Mom came to help out because Dad, dad don't know what the F yeah. is doing. Yeah, because there's the X. The so long as it's going over, over, and X. over. And then pull everything through. Not. <laughs> Hold on. Where is the X supposed to be? Below it? Okay. Okay, hang on. Here, sit on my lap. Sit on my lap. <laughs> sit on my lap. <laughs> yeah. Oh my so hold there's on. Do the you X. Have it threaded through the needle yeah. through. Yes. There's the end of the needle. And then here's the other end. Okay. So if you're holding it. Okay, so I just need to make this make an X. Yes. So there's the X I'm right, right there. Okay. X, and I'm holding the thread behind the needle. Okay. So now everything dropping down, there should be a U. Okay. okay. So now 
the long end or the, the little end. Wait, I don't have not, a, not we don't have a U. Because you yeah. haven't take, you haven't wrapped that end around yet. You have to take the long end and do the three wraps around. Two, three. Yep. Does she have there's a U? A I not. can't quite see. No, there's no U. Uh oh. oh, oh, oh <laughs> we got to do this. We got this. We can do this. <laughs> I didn't need to spit on it to put it in. I just put it in. Shut up. I don't have so the, sh the little end, the little end. So our end that is yep. not knotted yet is the part that goes between. The, you're making a sandwich. Your, your index finger, thread, needle, sandwich. So. So I need oh. to pull this bottom end up. So it makes the, the long end. end. The long end? Yes. So, okay. So it's the like little this. End I need to bring this. Here. The unknotted end is here. And we're we got this going on, and it's a sandwich. Do you have Index a knot finger. In the end? I don't have a knot on the end. Am I supposed to have a knot on the end? <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're making the knot. See, we're making the knot. <laughs> so, index finger, thread, needle on top. That should that should be what's what's happening behind this finger right now. Wait, there we go. So, index finger, thread, needle, and it's index all just being held there. Then thread, then needle? Yes. And the thread is the end that is not knotted yet. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to take the needle point is sticking up past your finger. You're going to take it and you need to wrap it. So you're wrapping around the needle three times. Two. The long end? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then you're going to be, let me see if I can hold them. And so you'll still have a U. So the U has yep. been here. Here's the wraps. Yep. You're going to grab the wraps. So you still have a U. Okay. And slide the needle through the wraps and push that knot all because you basically the coils are the knot. <laughs> she did it too. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't think this part was going to be the challenge. Yeah. Wait, what are we trying to do? Yes. Hold on. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm so glad it's just not me. God, I felt like an idiot. I felt like an idiot because I'm like, this. I totally understand the concept of the thing is, this is going to go way faster once we get past this. Okay. Well, I mean, we had to stretch this out to an hour. I didn't realize, right? We had to and the irony is, this will be the first video on my YouTube is how to do a Taylor's knot. <laughs> yes. So, what are you supposed to hold on to? This? Okay, I'm gonna try to get closer. I don't, I don't think. Let me see if I, I don't know if I can turn. Oh, I can't. All right. Okay, I got a knot. Hey, if it's not, it? he's good to go. Right here. Let's do it. She did it. Yeah. But <laughs> well, you know what I would typically do is just go like this and roll it and then pull and then it makes a knot. <laughs> so is there not? A, so what do we go? One of my. Okay. Okay. So there's a knot. So what do I do now? Okay. Cool. Okay, yeah. Okay, thanks, right. babe. I think we've all well, been amused. I, I, think get I think I was going this way, and I don't know if it makes a difference. Which well, I think from. what I thought, and what I thought is that we were tying a knot up here to tie it here and not a knot at the bottom. Yeah, I you're think pushing that was my bottom. thought. If I would have just kept pulling, because that was my problem, is I was letting go. So I think in my head, I thought we were having a knot here, not a knot at the end. So I, I that, promise that was that. My, it's going to get I easier. That, that was my issue. Okay. So now okay, we got a so knot. Yes. Okay. So we are going to do a total of six stitches of a running stitch. Do you know what running stitch means? Absolutely not. Excellent. <laughs> that is okay. I'm here for you. Let me grab right. this. All right. A visual aid. A running stitch. Okay. You are going to stab and push forward. Uh -huh. Okay. And we're going to... I'm not going to have you do the needle up and down without going. So we're going to go in into it and we're going to go back out, but you've got to space it across. We're going to do a total of six pokes. Okay. Okay. So the reason, and then let me, I'm going to do it real quick so you can see what they look like. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. So, that's okay, the right okay. stitch. Okay. okay. I can do that. I think I can do that. Okay. So that's that that is going to be what we're doing. Because the reason we do it is because that's what's going to make the creases in our bow. Because we're going to pull it real tight to do that. Yeah. Okay. Let me get back to the real thread. Okay. All right. So 
We're looking at your bow. Make sure you've got it going the right way. It should look wider. It shouldn't look like this. It should look like this. Yep. So the, that crease that we have should be on the big one north and south. So it should be just like that, right? Yes. And you can still see it, right? Because sometimes they like to disappear. Yep. I, I so. can see it. All right. So you're going to take your first stitch. Your first stitch is going to be on the, well, for me, it's on the right-hand side. For you, it'll be on the left. You're going to push out and make sure you're catching both layers of the bow for the first stitch. So am I coming up from the bottom? Yeah. You're, you're going in. No, stab. Stab forward. Stabby. So the knot ends up on top. Oh, shit. I'm going to die. Okay. No, you got this. You got this. One, okay. Two. Well, as far as like where that crease was, where am I to that crease? You said on, if I'm You're looking at it. You're using the crease as your line. Okay. Using the crease as my line. Even better. Now I can follow that. So I'm going to stabby stab once through, bring it down. I'm going to bring that whole piece out. Yeah. And then flipping over and stabbing back up, right? Yes. Your last stitch should be coming up, not away. So it'll be okay. kind of like that. Okay. I didn't space them out really well, but it's no big deal. Okay. So, okay. So there's that. Now I go back down. Oh. Yeah. That's glue. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to die. I think I found the glue. I found the glue. Oh, this is where I'm trying not to stab myself. Um, you can you can actually take problem. the needle and like flip it over and use your your table to push it through. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. See, a there's a tip. Use the table to push it through. That makes it. Yeah. Because I hate thimbles. Me. Thimbles and I we don't we don't get along. Okay. And then I come this way. We're gonna do that same trick. Yeah. Is that your last stitch? Is that number nope. six? Nope. I got um one, two, three, four. I got two more to do. So that okay. glue got me. And yeah, my spacing is horrible, but whatever. It's okay. Don't worry. There that? we can still fix it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now don't cut anything. Don't cut anything and don't unthread anything. All right. Got one more to do. Go back the other way. Okay. And okay, dokey. Well, there's not much of a line. Okay, got it. Great. Nothing so is now, cut. Is, don't cut anything. This is where it's going to get a little tricky because you got to make sure that the needle doesn't come off of the thread. So uh huh. Don't lose the needle, but you're going to take this string and it's going to become what you're going to pull on to make your bow. You're going to take okay. this and you're going to start, you're going to hold on to it, grasp it. It starts sliding the bow down the string. And you're going to see little creases start to form. Okay. You should well, see. I, if I can show it. It'll look. Um, uh, no. I just pulled it through. Pulled so apparently that knot way. didn't do me nothing. <laughs> I just pulled it through. <laughs> Well, if you did, it would look like this. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> I'm not I should have been there with you. I should, or should have brought you here is what should have happened. I have never done this online like this before. <laughs> Neither. Neither. You can see. The running stitch. We'll get you in the running stitch. I will. I just got to start over. And I'm just going to make a, a knot over here. And then I'm just going to make it all work. However you're going to do the knot, do the knot. Yep, because I'm not messing with that knot again. I'm. I'm I just need to get a second camera. It'd be way easier to show that you. That did not. That did not work out for me at all. And I had a good stitch. I'm like, man, this is gonna work out good. Okay, now now we we'll, now I can bang through this since I know what I'm doing real quick. Yes. I mean, not that I'm gonna stabby down front, the front to the back first. So we'll stabby down front to the back. And then we'll pull that through and then we'll the whole purpose of the stabby. running stitch is to put the creases in the center of the bow you need the creases in order to get the bow to basically get the bow to squash down the way it needs to be and if you don't space them out evenly when we take them and we take the bow and we draw the string it'll look it won't sit right to get the center on like you'll have it'll like a bump like, here look, one down yeah. here it'll look a little wonky Got yes it. 
Got it. Got it. Got it. You're getting it. Like I said, and with the not thing, that is the first video that's going on my YouTube. And I'm going to put it on TikTok <laughs> tonight too, actually, because I had somebody else ask about it earlier and I got on FaceTime with them for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, me, you know, that's the thing. If something's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong with me. So I'm good yes. with that. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Here it is. Five. And we'll get that through yep. here. And that's what I had to do too, yeah, to get it through there. Now, for anyone else that's wondering, they're like, oh my gosh, I cannot hand sew. I cannot do this. There is another way you can do it. I don't own the gadget, but there's something called a gator bite that looks like a alligator cut with a center out of it. You can actually do that and it will make all the creases for you. And all you have to do is either put a zip tie through or take a string and tie it. Those scare me. I, I lose gadgets all the time in my home. But that is another way that you can do it. It's called a gator bite. Hey, look at that. This time, my knot held up. It's probably because I did it and Corey didn't do it. All right. So, that's, so once you get your so that, squish in the center uh -huh. and hold it and make sure it's as tight as it can go. Don't pull too tight and break it, though. Now, once you have it in your finger's grasp and it's all pulled, uh -huh. you're going to take the string, the thread, uh -huh. you're going to wrap it around one, two, Three, four, if you feel like it. If you feel like it needs a fourth one, four times. Yep. Okay. And then go to the back side. You got to tie another knot. You're going to have to take the needle, run it underneath the wraps you just made. Oh, okay. Okay, but don't pull too much. When you pull it through, you want to be left with just a little tiny loop. Pull it through. And I just want to pull it through, and I want to tie it. Yeah. Yes, you want to keep. You want to make a couple knots back there just to secure this. All your hard work. Okay. All right. I think I can. I think I can manage that. One, I think I can. Manage that. Okay. Guess I should have used. Con I was like, oh, you will use thread that kind of sort of matches. Until I realized I can't see, and then I'm trying to figure stuff out. So. Oh, that actually gonna... reminds me. If you really get into thread or into bow making, they sell, um, it's for doilies, but they look like this. These are great to have for bow making. It's cheap. There's tons of it. And the thread holds up really well. What are those? There we go. It's actually the only it? reason I have those. And I've had them for a very long oh, time. There, I couldn't see what it was when you were holding it up. I thought it, I thought it was, I thought those were from the view because I didn't catch you picking them up. I oh, thought okay. that those were like uh, hot holder things. I'm like, what the hell are those? Now I get it. Now I get it. Okay. So there. All right. So I got some I got some some knots back there on the back side. Knotted up. Cool. Yes. Okay. So then okay, so then okay. you're gonna see you, you've got this now. You've got your bow basically. You're so done. Can cut, for the I can, you can so cut can the thread I cut now. It now. I can cut that yeah, cut okay. the thread off. Cut the thread now. So we, can, we can cut the thread off. Okay, cut the thread off, flip it back over, and basically I've got somewhat of a of a bow, yep. right? And you can kind of fuss with it a little, make it look the way you want to. Your bow is, for the most part, done. So now we're going to put this one down. And in essence, time, we're not going to do the second layer. So let's just get the main bow done. So now you're going to go right. to your 3 eighths inch ribbon. 3 eighths inch ribbon. 3 eighths inch ribbon. All right, 3 eighths inch right. ribbon. And I'm going to have you cut a little generous just in case things go awry. Cut about four inches of it. You know me so well. <laughs> and for yeah. four inches, we're going to use for the, um, for the, what, what did we say this was? For the, this is for, for the, the three bow center. Eights, we're going to use this one. Yeah, this is a skinny one. And you'll heat seal both those ends just to be safe in case you pull something. There's nothing four more inches, frustrating than pulling so that piece of there. ribbon. We're gonna cut it right there. All right. Oh, sheesh! That one. Oh, that one. That one wanted to burn. Ooh, that's probably the glitter in it, huh? Probably. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. All right. Sealed bow. What am I doing time wise here? I want to make sure. Good go. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. Okay. So you. Can oh, you're fine. Here. So the flat alligator. This is the flat alligator. Okay. That we're using right now. Some yep, people get, will line these. Yeah, some people line them. Some people choose not to line them. 
That is totally up okay. to a person's preference. I usually do line them. Uh, let's see. The example one that I did, I did line it. You can kind of see how that polka dot ribbon's in the back. It's on the clip. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so, yep, yep. Do you feel like lining it, Todd? Do you think? Yeah, let's, this let's go. Let's, let's, I mean, let's. You want to do why it? Why not? Why not? All right. Find the flat alligator. Your, your glue gun's still on, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. You know what? Take that four-inch piece of ribbon. We can use that. So on okay. the back side of the alligator uh -huh. here, there you can see where there's like a flat area here. Um, You're just going to, we're going to start right there on the back side of the, of the alligator clip. So like the, the, this, this part right here. I'm looking at it sideways. Here. Uh, here. Opposite of the claws. Opposite of the claws. Flip it over sideways. So I can see. Yeah. Okay. So that's the top flat part on uh -huh. top. Now flip uh -huh. to the bottom, flip it over. Uh -huh. Now see where the spring is. And there's like a one flat part right there. Yeah, on your finger the, was on it. Yep, right where there. Your finger oh. just was, when you're opening the clip, the part that your yep. finger touches, that okay, right where here. your index finger is, that's where we're going to start yep, gluing right the ribbon on. Okay. You're going to put a dab of glue on that. We're just basically making it pretty. Okay, dab of glue. Yep, and you want to look at, make sure you get it centered on there. So it'll be like that. It just covers that little little square of metal that's there. We're just covering it. So like that. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, but the glue's got a hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, the glue. That would help if the glue would hold. Okay. There you go. There. All right. Yeah. So now we've got to get this <laughs> ribbon. We're going to glue it uh -huh. inside the end of the barrette, too, or the clip. So it'll look like it'll go inside there. See where it's going? Okay. We got to yep. glue it inside so there. Going, well. So it's going like this. Yes. And when I'm gluing, okay, just throw some glue in there and see what happens. Just, right? Yeah, two little dots will do it. Just kind of push it in and make oh, sure yeah, it's still centered. Little, That's the big thing. Oh, yeah, and that there's some slack in there. Because if there's no slack, you won't be able to get the thing open very easily. Oh, open and close. Shit. I did not almost burn myself. So then it'll look like that. <laughs> it's like I'm spider webs all over here. Okay. So there. Oh, on here. So it'll look okay. like it'll look like that. Yeah, I can show you that one a little bit. Yes. Hold on one second. My laptop is dying. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna take this part and we're gonna glue it uh -huh. across the top. Ooh, that's kind of makes sense. Just a line across. Yeah, and then you'll glue it. Line across. Glue. There oh, you go. Apparently, I didn't get glue where it needed to be because it only went to... There we go. Okay, now let's try glue glue over on that one. As you guys can see, I'm making a mess. There oh, it's just, it's, glue. it's just glue. And then the tab that's left okay. over, yep. you're going to glue that into. You're going to take it and glue it to the underside of the barrette, not the the flat part. So it'll be off of this thing, not down here. Yep, so, up here. So I flip it over and I go on the inside like that. Right? Yes. Yeah, so you're you're going to have to hold the clip open while you'll do it. Yeah. I am notorious for getting my finger stuck in it. And then you'll end up with it looking like that. Let's see there. We probably cut these a little short, but it's no big deal. No biggie at all. I don't and then you're both so. ready. I yeah. Think mine, oh, you got it. I think mine worked out perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So then now you're going to take this. We're going to grab our bow. Um, and I need to I need to do four more inches, right? Because I use that on this. Yes, but not yet. Okay. You can hold up right now. So now we're going to take the clip you just did, the uh -huh. flat side, the, flat, the side that has all the ribbon on it. Uh -huh. You're going to glue it onto the back side of the bow. All right. Which does it matter which way? Up, down, left, right? Yeah. Which way am I going? With well, it? if you're looking okay. at your bow like this, you're going to uh -huh. put it on the back. And remember, this bow should look wide. Oh, hold okay. on. I'm trying to hold it. So it'll be like that. Here, so here's the front. I'm gonna, here's the front. 
here's the thing on this. Yeah. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to have it go that way. Yes. Yeah. And you can add whichever end. This bow, it doesn't matter which direction it goes. Some you might have okay. to worry about it when we don't have to. Okay. And then I just glue it right there. Yep. You're going to put a line of glue down the, the clip. And make sure you center it when you put it on there. Make sure I center it when I put it on there. Oh, there with that. Oh, okay. 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 That went, that went way crazier. And people find this relaxing. Like what the hell's wrong with them? <laughs> we just had and... some not stuff happen. <laughs> But you'll end up with right? this. Okay. All yeah. right. And we're yeah, almost done. Like that. Yeah. So now like that. let's go back. Let's get another four inches of that skinny ribbon. Um, yeah. What did I I know I I know I did something with it. Where's that four inches? I don't I don't know. We'll cut we'll cut another four inches for four inches. We'll get that out of the way. And that's close enough. For the girls I go out with. So, okay. Gosh. All right. And I'm going to seal those doing... edges. Right? I got to seal those edges again, right? Yes. Okay. There's that one. There's that one. Okay. So we're back to bow. We've got this. Now what? So this is what's going to end up going in the center of the bow. Oh, okay. Then okay. That. And that, then that's going to be like, that's it. We're basically done. Um, there are a few ways you can do this. It's kind of hard because the clip in the back, you got to get it open to glue. I like to start and take this part and take the center of it. You kind of eyeball it. Put a dab, 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 a dab of glue right in the center. Put uh -huh. the ribbon down on top of it. How much of you, how much, where do you put this ribbon? Do you put it halfway, front, back? Yes. Where do you put that ribbon at when we put that dab on? On the front, on so the top of the bow. And we're just going to lay it right across the top and okay. center it. So yeah. it'll look like that. Okay. Almost like a butterfly. That's what I was going to say. Yep, just like that. So. And just look at it. Make sure everything's going straight. It's the way you want it to look. And now we're going to yep. just start wrapping it. Um, All right. You can decide. I'm a heavy gluer, so I would actually start putting it a thing of glue on the side of it, this side of it, like, uh, what's gotcha. the word I'm looking for? You just glue it. Yeah. Open up that, that clip and feed it through. Yeah. Yes. Sheet, man. Glue is messy. It is. But just remember, it doesn't take much because when you push down, it spreads out. Yeah. Well, I got the, I, Apparently, I got a heavy hand on. Well, I kind of, I I've ended up it. with that situation. I've glued it so it's. If you think of it as a, a square, the front of the square we did, we're going across here and across here on the square, and we have the back yeah. line to do. Yeah. How do you how do you finish this? Do you clip it in the back to finish it back there? You're gonna go ahead and open the clip up and put a dot of glue in the center. Yep, got that. And then clip it. And, yep, you're gonna well, you're gonna decide whichever tab you want to bring down. The skinny ribbon, bring it down, yep. and then cut it off. Cut it off so you get the excess out of your way. But leave yeah. the other side. Oh shit! Okay, well, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> you're all right. We'll see how it turned out. And then whatever's left, you just take it and glue it down. You're done. Oh, that's what I did. Okay. That's what I did. So there. I can juice it a little bit more. Yes. And I've got some glue issues there, but whatever. Whatever. So there's my bow. There it is, right? Like you did like yeah. the electric I mean, the electric dealer. Hands free. Look at that. And it's like anything else. So, the more you practice, it, the easier it gets. Oh, for sure. That was uh, that was not frustrating at all. Not, not no. At all. I think that once they figured out what I was doing and seen a few times, I think that's the thing too. Like you said, the more you do it, the more you see it, the better that it gets at it. Because I mean, 
we got to remember, I've never made a bow. Well, I mean, I made the other bows, but as far as it comes to hair bows, I've never made one before. So I will give that an easy six out of 30 right there. An easy six out of 30. Um, it'll be fine for my kids to get made fun of at school with. So I'm cool with that. You know, like what and happened to you your go. bow? Did your dad make that? And the kids will say, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you got it. And the great yeah, thing, this is like you said, this is just a simple boutique bow. Easy ways to upgrade them is to put a bow center. You could put, I mean, a little bit of anything on there. Um, I love to do buttons. Let me see. Oh, here's one. I love buttons. I just take the shank off and you could just glue a button on there. Look, all of a sudden it got super fancy. Oh, yeah. I don't have yeah. anything that fancy. I, no, I don't have anything that fancy. Well, do that I or put, I can you can a, get Hobby Lobby has like these rolls of rhinestone trim. Don't use the heat oh, stuff yeah. that's on back. Use a different glue because their adhesive is terrible. <laughs> but okay, good to know. across it and, and then look at that. Ooh. Ooh. See? Ooh. Now, see, in my head, I'm like, okay, well, now we're just going to have, we're going to do that with Velcro. So that way we can interchange the center. You know, and there's there, some there, people that do. And an then interchangeable bow. Totally. And then where did it go? I just had it. I'm losing stuff, Todd. Well, I had it. I lost it. Oh, here we go. Or welcome to my show. Really where we lose stuff. Yes, yeah, so you can get really fancy. You can buy ostrich feathers. Um, and the, the great thing about them is if you buy them straight, you can curl them. Here's a little poof. This is like half an inch, inch worth. Watch oh. this. This is a great way to, again, upgrade your bow. Take your bow and you would just glue it on the back. <laughs> oh, look at that. Fascinator. <laughs> look at that. That's an upgrade and a half for just a little right? dab of glue. Right. Just a little dab of glue will hold them. You put that, you put this. Look at that. We've totally upgraded this bow. It gets super fancy. I love it. I love it. That is super fancy. And it all stems from just this little guy. This little guy. So you're your base yeah. boutique bow and all of that. You can do it. I love it. Now see if we had time. I this is it. this is the stacked version. Well, maybe actually I will have to mess with this and we we can do some stacked versions and some variations next month you know we can, i i we think can, you I would be get... really good at the, the origami style ones oh i'm down with that let's go I let's think try and your, your mind one would work month. with that one we just got to work on the knot technique that's it the knot i'm gonna that's that's what i'm doing while i'm watching tv is just try and get this damn knot down because i yes and i think in my head like i said i, I think i figured it out what i did and now we'll, we'll get to play it but i'm down i'm down with origami bows i next really month, like that blue want. sure we'll mm -hmm. do it Cool. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. I'll figure out a date because I know we've got Mexico next month, and I've got. Take me to Mexico. One, I'll go. <laughs> yeah, Mexico. We're we're going the last week of February. We're headed to Mexico because it'll be it'll technically it'll be our first wedding anniversary because we got married on leap day. So you know I only have to worry about Aww. the anniversary every four years. So so we'll be there for that last week of it. But um, I think the week before because I've got yeah we'll get I'll get with. You and we'll figure out a date on that, but we will do some origami bows. But look at that. Here's some bow. and I don't have any hair to put in there. Let me let me take this off here and make us back to back to the but it the looks really there. cute. Like you did a great job. There. I told you you could do this. And there we can yeah. yeah. I can do it. And there's the back. So see, there's the back. Now you can actually see it. And I can see I can to I totally went glue heavy. And so that's something I've got to work on my gluing. I've got a total mess over here on stuff, <laughs> and um I, I'm not like it looks like a spider came rolling through here. I've got webs rolling everywhere, but hey, there's the back right. of it. And see, and you would take that bow. It, so. If you made two of those bows, that's how you get this one. It's just two of them mm -hmm. put together. Just two of them. That's it. Gotcha. Now I see it. Now I see it. Now that I see it, now that I made it and see it, mm -hmm. I can definitely, I, I'm, 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 more, I'm good with that. I am. I'm happy with that, and now I can make. I've got a whole bag of clips, so I can practice a bunch. Yes. And I can get excited about tying knots to make sure everything works right for next right. time. And the great thing is, <laughs> since you have all those clips, Something you can use those that. clips I'm to hold it together. <laughs> oh, I almost hit Yes. Up. See, now we're talking. <laughs> I, I, I'm when I clean up this mess. That's what I. I mean, there's just. I've got a nice little mess rolling here, Sydney. Right. So, and anybody that was following, Sydney, I appreciate this. Well, this is something that. We will get um, next because this same same supply list. Uh, it's in the description. 
it's in the comments. I'll post it online again. And for next month, we'll have it. So it'll be the same same supply list, right? There's nothing, you know, if they want right. to get feathers or funky, but we're doing origami ones next month. So I yeah, think most of the stuff I think is all good. with that one and a half inch. Okay, cool. One and a half inch is going to be the, the main stuff. And like I said, we will put, I'll make sure to put those out there for it. Uh, Cindy, where can people find you at? You a diva creative or diva creative official. The TikTok is the best one to get me at though. Diva creative on TikTok. Uh, I just had something went up about tamale making actually. So if you want to know my tips about Ooh. tamale making, go check it out. I've got that. I've got tips about it. Yeah, because yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, Cindy, I'm gonna throw you in the I'm gonna throw you in the green room and I'll be with you in just a few minutes. That's all right. No problem. Just make sure everyone turns their glue guns off if you were following along. Turn the glue See gun you off. soon. Bye. Oh, good call. Turn the blue going off. I'm turning it off right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm going to learn to tie a knot, folks. I will promise you by next month I will have that knot down because that seems to be the struggle fest for me. The rest of it, I think we did good. For our first bow edit, we'll have that. Um, like I said, the, everything that you need, the supply list, is in the description of the video. It's in everything there, so make sure to have that. I will, next time, I will put it out beforehand in the group. And if you're in your email list, I'll make sure to send it out there. So uh, once we have a date down that we're going to do origami bows, I'll make sure to put that in there. Let me check in and see if anybody have any questions, comments, concerns, so that way we can get it out there. Otherwise, we're going to, because I didn't look at any of this. I was too stressed out to to go back through and, and do this for it. Um, I like the green polka dot bow that could be cute on my dog. Ooh, see, I, 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 I yeah. I was so stressed out about this. Um, now you're not behind. A needle. Yep, we're good there. Uh, oh, yeah. I will be re-watching this one. I'm glad you will. <laughs> I'm glad you will. Uh, list of supplies, like I said, they're in the comments. Um, they're in the comments. They're in the description of the video, so we can go and check that. Um, let's see. Corey, is, Corey did come down to help. Uh, did not know that was a Taylor's knot. Me either. I had no clue. A knot. Uh, I, I should have had way more shots than this. I was in an AI stuff all day, and it did not... I didn't even get there for it. Uh, yeah, she did take the dogs to get groomed. She's almost, well, she was home. So that must have been Krista. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else is there for it. Um, let's see. Response there. Um, I don't I don't listen. I just got to figure it out, and I will get it for it. <laughs> Bless your hearts. This is the only part I can do. I can't do any of it. I couldn't. But we figured it out, right? Do it. I mean, T-Town, go get a needle. You could have got a needle and you could have run along with it. Your sister collects them all, but my grandma had so many collectibles. She even had a super nice case that she displays the, the thimble in. I'm not that. Mm -mm. Uh, Cindy can record herself making one and send it to you and you can share it with us. Well, Cindy's going to do it on her TikTok. So make sure to go check out her TikTok because she will put it on there. And that way you're able to do that as well. Uh, and Pilar said when she was making competition bows, she just folded with her fingers and used the zip tie. I used to sew bows 20 years ago, but zip tie is so much faster. There's a zip tie. Great. Great. Now we're going to screw that up. Uh, and uh, Linda said, right, Pilar, you can fix everything with duct tape and twine. Um, I'm tenacious. I don't I don't think I've ever been called tenacious. I kind of like that. Uh, good job. We hey, that's all on Cindy. She helped. She got me through that, so I didn't stress out nearly as much as I could have. Uh, yep. And the written, like I said, the list is going to be in the descriptions, so we'll have that. I did not. You lose an eye. I did not stab myself or burn myself, so I can do that. Yeah, you could use your own sublimation ribbon for. It. In fact, you know, uh, we know a guy here who has a ribbon cutter. You know, T Town eventually is going to have that on there. So you know, just saying. Um, where are you guys going to Mexico? I honestly don't know. Pilar, where are we going to in Mexico? I don't, uh, I think Cancun. Um, I think it's a Ryu. Cucatan? I don't know. Corey, Corey just books it. That's how traveling works with me. I just say, where are we going? Uh, we're going to Mexico and it just magically happens. I, I don't, I don't, wherever it makes, whatever makes mom happy, I make her happy and it's good. Thanks. Thanks, Bling Bomb. I, I, this is this once a month craft afternoon. It should not be as stressful, but it's way too fun for it. Uh, thank you for thank you. The creasing the ribbon in certain places is very helpful. Very see good little tips on it. And love tamales. You think I got this hot, sexy body by not eating tamales? It's winter time. This guy's got to stay warm, so we're definitely get it. All right, 
We will be back tomorrow morning, Morning Mindset. We do that every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Next Tuesday, we'll be here for, we're doing mock-ups in Canva and Corel. So we're going to trigger that up. Uh, and then we've got shows. Uh, I'll start hitting the schedule for shows for next month out there and listed supplies, everything that we needed for that. So until next time, you guys have an amazing night. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have not liked or subscribed or did all that, please do now. So that way, hey, like I said, it helps keep the lights and mics on. Peace, love, press on. We will see you guys next time.